What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to this insane bulwark beast right here with the two most insane skills for the Avenger, guys. We have Speed Shooter. Avenger enters acceleration mode faster, 66%. And, uh, and then Avenger has increased shot grouping, 30%. The Avenger does not only become very accurate at long range and hits all its things, it also reaches its higher 30% acceleration rate faster uh, than before. And with this, the bulwark becomes a real force and we're running it right now with lockdown ammo too so that we can make sure people can't move away while we're hammering away at them with insane damage output so let's test this bad boy once in beacon rush and once in free for all and uh, and see how strong we can make this beastie boy max damage modules of course installed to it and also um max uh, or did i have max armor modules oh wow i forgot you must go back on the video to find out which module i have um, and then also we have max damage boosters and shield booster too, 171,000 Aegis shield. That's quite a bit of shielding, I would say. So let's lock down this Ares right there. Boop. There it is. He's going to use his shield now because he doesn't want to take the damage. There we go. It was clear that this was going to happen. I'm deactivating my shield now to not lose the shield against uh, the rockets from the Sinites. And now I'm bringing back the shield. And trying to, to deal some damage to these Ares, but unfortunately, uh, I think what they're doing... Oh yeah, this is two team players, forget it. We won't be able to fight against them. Um, lockdown, 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 nice. He's locked, uh, but he's got the shield back. Damn it. Uh, the way, the strategy that they're using right now is playing the overlapping shield tactic on two Ares. And this is really, really impossible to deal with. And try to make use of this thing here on this side. Lockdown on the Natasha, and you see how much damage the Natasha suffers, right? That's because the uh, Natasha, that's because of the increased accuracy um, of the Avengers. It, it now hits with perfect accuracy almost. Not perfect, but really good. Lockdown ammo would be so good here on this. Uh, and there it is. That's already gone. We have to walk back into safety. I keep locking them down. I keep trying to stress them into making mistakes, but it doesn't work. They're, uh, they're not playing with any mistakes right there. They're staying together. And cleaning up my team completely one by one and uh, and that's that's it pretty much so here is the specter going down against the avenger nice oh almost almost nice my teammate did it the problem is my team is probably gonna run out of robots real soon the only the only chance i see to kill them here is if i interfere i need to intervene in this and just jump in between and try and and change the whole situation with this. Unfortunately, that may not be so easy here. And both of them locked. One of them is dead. The other one has lost last stand. Both of them dead. And this guy also dead. There we go. This is what I meant, meant with, my inter with me interfering in what they do here. And trying to end what they do. It worked so far. For the time being, they have lost their robots. And I'm hoping they don't have another two of them coming in but of course they do of course they do lockdown ammo here he's locked i'm walking into safety oh boy okay he's running his weapons there and now he's losing some decent hp here probably probably still has last stand though Unle unless i activated his last stand he will still have it and uh, do they have two Ares again? No, it's just one Ares at this point. Uh, I was unable to lock him. I was unable to lock him down, unfortunately. But we're having also last stand here, so I can drain him. And kill him completely. Nice. So, there we go. We still have a lot of HP here. Oh no, I need to bring my shield back up. Lockdown ammo. Oh, what? An Onyx player has taken over. A player that is, doesn't even belong to the team has taken over now and is now doing the thing too. I still got another Ares from them down, but now I'm really bummed here. I got no chance at this point. There's nothing I can do here. An Onyx player has just decided to pop in and do the same thing as well. Interesting. No chance, no chance. Yeah. Almost, dude. Almost. We're super close. Alright, let's jump here uh, in with this thing. 
and try and kill this guy. He's trying to regenerate another stealth, and I'm hoping that... Yeah, nice, my team made it. So they won't be able to get this beacon now because I'm on it here. And I'm taking it. So now... Okay, let's go for uh, this guy first. Activate his flight, if possible. And then kill the Onyx do dude before he can pull off another stealth jump. There we go. Activating healing again. Trying to push him into the open, but it doesn't seem to work very, very well here. Um, I may be able to catch him, though. I am, I am a little bit faster than he is. So there he is, and now he's taking some good damage. And that's it for him. Alright, another Onyx player here. Activating healing just because uh, we're running lower on HP and we can actually uh, put another healing out. I'm tr I was trying to suppress the uh, this guy. So I'm gonna use my healing in just a second now. Here we go. Healing back up. Killing the CL player. Okay, then the then this guy. Okay, and now we're we're hurting him here a little bit. This is what one Falcon can do. How absolutely insane. Another lockdown would be really eff effective. Okay, we can heal up again in a second. I am actually healing now. And now it's time for this dude to die. Nope, he's got last stand. Okay. There he goes. And now after his last stand is gone, I may be able to finish him off too. And there you go, guys. <laughs> I single-handedly flattened the whole team right here. Unbelievable. Oh, he was able to walk around the corner. I don't know. I feel like the lockdown takes longer or, or is, is active longer on, on the Falcon. I feel like I'm locked down for a much longer time. Very interesting, very intense fight with these uh, Onyx player and the CL players. Very crazy, but you see how much influence we had with our weapon here. And we also used that bulwark to a good um, good way. By the way, important information right here about the giveaway, right? I made a mistake right there. You cannot choose any robot you want. You need to choose from Ragnarok robots, Tyr, Fenrir, or Loki, okay? That was my mistake. And even though I may say that wrong a few more times in videos I've already created, the correct information is only Ragnarok robots, okay? Sorry. Jumping into free fall and testing this bad boy in action there. Boom, here we are. Nice, the Avengers. With increased accuracy and increased acceleration um, uh, on the higher uh, fire rate. Okay, lockdown. I'm locking him just so that I can deactivate my shield and stay safe here. Because right now he can't hit me here, see that? But he will be attacked from behind. And unfortunately, I did not get that kill. Bringing up the shield here. And now taking down the Spectre. Wow. How fast he just dies right there. <laughs> uh, a little bit sad that we did not get this kill. Lockdown ammo here. Shooting over the cover, rich line. And now I'm emptying my clip because I won't really be able to kill uh, this, this dude anyways. Because he's probably going to push his corner shoot me. See that? You're emptying the clip now on him. All he does is basically just corner shooting at this point. Which is exactly what an Ares does once his shield is done. This way he can still be a little bit aggressive. He can still be uh, active in the game. Lockdown ammo here, sick 400 meters range. And look at these Avengers. Look at the accuracy and damage output at 400 meters, guys. This is really, really insane. I like I like the map also, but it's a little bit spread, spread out. The enemies are a little bit spread out right now. I don't know what he has. Locked on ammo, and I think even if he stealth jumps, I may still be able to kill him. See that? See that? I can still kill him because the uh, the uh, the weapon actually had a good line of sight with him, a good angle. So I'm not sure what is coming behind me, but I won't know one thing for sure. If it's a stealth jumping robot or something. Okay, locked on ammo here. Now he's locked. We can do super good damage to this Carnage at this range. Activating the shield, and there he goes. Nice. Oh, it's a Lancelot. It's a slow Lancelot. All right. 
Um, interesting that we are not seeing as many Aries in this match, right? Normally in free fall, it's all it's all filled with Aries left and right. Not this time. Okay, let's fight the Lancelot. I don't think he's got much of a chance. Thing is, though, that another... You know what? I'm not going to fight him now. Because I'm just going to wait here. This guy's coming around the corner and is going to attack the Lancelot from behind. See that? There it is. And now I'm going to try and bypass his physical shield here. To try and sneak the kill away. Alright, he's going to stealth jump me now. Lockdown ammo. Come on. Nice. He is locked. And maybe we can kill him and he doesn't have the sh stealth jump ready. Nice. You know what? I think he's out of ammo. I think he's out of ammo anyways. Yep. Nice. The shield of the Bulwark is really sturdy now when you run the boosters too. And you have maybe the shield for increased... Uh, oh, lockdown ammo here. Uh, for increased shield capacity at the skill. He's walking around the corner. Interesting, he acts like he... N no, he's not acting like he knows, okay. If he knew my weapon is reloading, he would be coming out, but he didn't know. He had no idea. Okay, walk out into safety. Activating the, uh, the thing here. Lockdown ammo on him. And boom, there goes the kill. Boom goes the dynamite. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Oh boy. Oh, he's doing massive damage, but I think he's reloading now. Yep. Eventually, he had to reload. Uh-oh. Oh, that's bad timing. I'm gonna try and walk away from him into safety here. Regenerate my shield. Oh boy, this is not safety. This is anti-safety. This is not how safety looks like. Oh no. Okay, come on. Rock down ammo. And I got him locked there. He can't hit me with his Zeus. That's really good. And I'm bringing up my shield, my physical shield here. He's got locked. No, no, I thought he had last stand, but he didn't. Nice. And my physical shield is still protecting me. Interesting. The physical shield is also really sturdy on this bulwark. Just one bulwark used so far and we're still kicking. Okay, this is an Aoguang. Obviously, the Aoguang is going to attack us when he has his flight mode ready. That's an invader. That's interesting. An invader can, you know, we can do a lot of damage to an invader. He's gonna try and jump on, on the Lancelot now. We're gonna kill him from behind. Boop, there it is. And if we could lock him. See, he's locked now. He can't jump. That means he's gonna die immediately. Doing some damage to this Ao, uh, Ao Guang. I can shoot very well over the cover, but he can't shoot above the ground that we have in front of us. See, the only re the only damage he did was with his uh, with his built-in rocket launchers, pretty much. Damn it, he gets killed by someone else now. Yep, <laughs> that was unlucky. Uh, but that belongs to the game too, right? You can't always be lucky. Uh, I wanted to lock him before he makes it. We're having now. I can't even lock him. Uh, down, but I can try and walk away from him to bring up the shield if he if I had gained distance to him Then he would have not been able to get uh, through the shield anymore. I would have killed him insane, dude So now we got him though before he went around the corner <laughs> Stealth everything so he's locked now and we're gonna be able to do a bit of damage to him uh, But not too much And he's gonna walk into safety I'm gonna recharge my Avengers Here, sir Okay, he's locked down again. Last stand on him. And now he stealth jumps. Okay. Last stand on me too. And that's the moment you die. Boom. We still have the physical shield, do we? No, the physical shield is already broken. Alright, that was interesting. He did not actually stealth jump on us. Uh, he did actually not... He, he didn't use a stealth. Wait a minute. Dude, I, I hit him. I got hit indicators, but my lockdown ammo didn't lock him down. Trying to walk away from this. No chance, though. And now without the chance to be able to lock um, and anything. As you see, the Meta bots Mercury, Aochun, 
they beat you. So, but this time you won't be able to succeed because A, we still have last stand and B, I have the lockdown ammo ready and C, I have the full shielding too. So this time he won't be able to win. Shield is active and we're blocking all the damage. Uh, that was something that I should have done different last time. I should have dropped the shield, right? And, uh, and no, yeah, let that shield down and only activate it then when he sits in front of me because I think for a while he would not have really done any damage. Let's see what he comes with this time. I wonder if it's the Aochon or the Ares it is, okay. Okay, it's the Ares and he only has 25 seconds. So if he wants to do something, he's going to have to do it now pretty much. I'm going to I'm going to set an ambush for him here. He's coming in with his weapon and shield. Lockdown ammo now. Here's the ambush. Ambush taking place. See that? You know, would have now died because I have my physical shield still and all that. The ambush worked. So, um, yeah, I think it's a very powerful machine. However, one thing you have as a problem is against the meta attacks of our Chons or Ares or, or even Mercuries. You know, they will beat you. Uh, there is not really that much you can do. You can, of course, try to go with Quantum Radar, uh, but without the lockdown ability, you're, everybody will just run away from you and you're never really kitch killing anyone. So I think the lockdown is actually more useful on the adventure than Quantum Radar is. But what do you think, guys? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.